Razer Viper Ultimate comes with the mouse, a charging dock, a cable, and an instruction manual. The mouse can either be used wireless with a USB or wired. The USB is stored on the bottom of the mouse where you can also find the DPI button and the power switch. You can see a spot here where you can use the cord from the charging dock onto the mouse. The mouse has 8 buttons. On the top we have the right and left click, and the scroll wheel has 2 buttons. One where you just press down and the other where you move it to the side to click. There are two side buttons on both sides of the mouse. The mouse only has one spot for lighting, and that is the logo at the rear. It does take up a little bit of battery, but it still has a long life. The mouse is ambidextrous, meaning both right and left handed people can use it. The Viper Ultimate comes in at 74 grams, which is considered light. The charging dock. The dock has an adhesive on the bottom so you can stick it to a desk and it won't move anywhere. I'm not sure if you were able to move it and stick again. At the back is where the dock is plugged in to provide battery to the mouse. You can store a USB here and these two things is where the mouse is placed. For both the mouse and the dock, the light is customizable. However, when it is charging, the light will show different colors to display the battery status of the mouse, and those colors cannot be customized. The software is pretty straightforward. You can make an account and add new devices to the Razer Synapse, the software. You can assign buttons to do different things, change the sensitivity, and adjust the lighting for all devices attached to the software. It took me a long time to figure out how this works, not only because I didn't read any of the instructions, but also because I am dumb.